So we're back home. We've got the ladies safely snugged away in their new little house. We had a little bit of excitement with our bee vacuum cleaner, as you've probably seen. So we're having a bit of a um, think about it. And I was reckoning what's happened is we've sucked in a little bit more honey than we probably should have out of the nest. And also, this was quite long, like down there. I was, I was thinking as it sat in there, hang on, we'll put it in there so I can explain it. I thought well, that'd be kind of cool because they had bees that go down here, get sucked up, and they'd be sucked up here and sitting in the box. And then when you take the lid off, they won't run straight out the top. But, as per with everything, when you actually get out and do shit, you find out the bees don't go nice and neatly around there because they're not that bloody cooperative. They actually ended up getting stuck. We had a tin full of honey soaked bees, which was a little bit complicated. If you ever tried to cut around tin, object, whatever you want to call it, it's a real pain in the ass because wherever you start, you start bloody here and then you end up there and cutting around circles is a pain in the bum. So, if you want to be slack, you can't be bothered getting your protractor out. Is it a protractor? Well, I don't know, anyway, some sort of tractor. Just stick something like the rubber band or a bit of, if it's a really big barrel, you get a string. Anyway, so we put a little bit of tape around here, I figure. That should do a two-fold job. Should give us a bit more bolt, so as it doesn't fall in the hole too easily, hopefully. Really want it to sit up a bit, because then we've got that perfectly designed now with our fancy pieces of wood that are exactly the right size. Hell, that took us half an hour to find the right bit of wood. So, I don't know whether we want to play with that idea. That's better. Love my fancy nail polish. That's from spray painting their signs. Well, we'll see what happens, eh? We'll find out in a minute. We're on the way down to suck some bees off the side of a house. The poor lad down there, he's got these bees living in his air vents of an old home, so I don't know, that should be entertaining. <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> Here we are, attempt number two, see if we can suck some bees off of a house. They're, at least they're easy to get at this lot. We'll, hopefully we'll have adjusted our suction bit, open our tap a bit, back our vacuum cleaner off a bit. I reckon I'm just gonna get a small vacuum cleaner eventually, but then we can make it a one kit wonder. And we, <laughs> we, might even, we might even make ourselves a patented vacuum cleaner to sell around the world, who knows? So we've backed our vacuum cleaner off to half strength, and we've got our tap three quarters open, and um, well, we might open it right up and then we can adjust it as we go. Hopefully we'll have a little less carnage this time, <laughs> which would be good. I was just thinking, does this mean that we really suck? <laughs> a joke really sucked. <laughs> that was a pretty poor attempt. Fairly sure that all that's happened here is the girls have run out of room in this wall cavity for their storage and so that's all just basically honeycomb honey stored out here so we might we'll just take it off and keep some of it for them so they got something to eat in the new location ah. <laughs> oh. I think they've gone into the wall roof cavity here I don't want to try and rupture too much honey because that's half the drama we had last time. We had all that honey mixed up with our bees and they didn't, that wasn't real good for them. Yeah, they're getting excited. <laughs> I was just sucking a bee off my hat. <laughs> I don't think when this bee suit was designed, they had this in mind, this big wide brim hat. Under this here, it's getting bashed. I think you're meant to be out in the open, not sucking stuff off of a house. Mm. Definitely makes them less angry, this concept. Because I guess they're sucked up into the <laughs> jolly pot and they can't do much about it, can they? Can you imagine what the hell they're thinking? <laughs> they're sitting on their wall and all of a sudden they got sucked up a bloody hose. <laughs> 
trapped in a vacuum. That'd be a bit weird, wouldn't it? But hopefully, they're all good. They've been very busy. Must be some nice flowering gums around here somewhere. The interesting thing is the girls make all this honey, but if you mess up their beautiful, delicate system that they've got, they get stuck in it themselves. Then they've got to lick themselves clean, or each other clean. So you've got to be a little bit careful with this, and this is what's the advantage of this vacuum idea. You can actually remove a lot of them before you start getting to the next bit. So I think it's very good, but we'll find out when we open the vacuum pot in a minute. Whew. I don't think they're liking us very much, but the alternative wasn't real flash either. They weren't allowed to live here forever, so anyway, hopefully, hopefully we can survive, put a new queen with this little lot, and they can start a new fresh home. I'm a bit honey-fied. <laughs> yeah, yum. <laughs> it's a bit of a sticky business. Yo, let's see what trouble we're in, ladies. Have a look at that. Fucking hell, lad. I think I might put my gloves back on because they could get a bit excited when we take them out of here. I guess it's like everything in life. You don't expect to be an expert the first time you do anything, do you? We'll see if we can't get the box out of here without getting too beerified. I think that looks pretty bloody successful to me. So it's not like the box is actually full, they're just sitting on the wall of the actual mesh, which is cool. But anyway, for now I think we'll swap it over since we've got it out and we'll um, do the next big one and see what sort of trouble we can get into and then we'll suck the last few up. Oh, look at us go. I don't think these girls are very happy. So, I'm a little bit sticky from the last event. <laughs> they definitely don't attack, attack you anywhere near as much with this project. Might even be a queen out here, there's some eggs on this lot. <laughs> silly little critters. <laughs> well they're just that they've got this nest that's all together and they've got they've all like separate strips so they can make the most use of their uh, room. And it all just sort of hangs there together so they can maintain the temperature. I'm assuming this is the outside part of a whole nest that's you know inside the wall here but they seem to have established themselves pretty well. Shit! <laughs> oh that didn't make them happy. <laughs> Thing. I think that's only because you got folded up in my arm. This is sort of so nice and relaxed for them, they don't seem to run away anywhere near as much. It's definitely better than the stupid cardboard box idea. Sometimes they even volunteered to get sucked up. If you just, I don't know, you probably can't see it, but they just fly into the hose. They want to join their sisters. Where the fucking Sarah go? Where's Mary Ann? Oh, there goes Sarah Jane. Holy dooly. So I get just trying to get most of the brood comb before we get all the honeycomb. All the honey stored up the top as they normally would. They always store high and brood low. So this is pretty cool, which is why it works when you put a super on your bee box, that they like to put the honey at the top. I don't think they like that one, whatever that was. It's funny, there must be different spots that are more important. It was probably just the nightclub that the off-duty nurses were in. The other thing that's kind of cool with this is that that whole big nest that we took a shot of earlier, it's all just pinned back on the, one, on the wall, and yet they make little tiny little bridges so as that it all stands out like you saw it, like in all the little, all the little sections. 
So that's pretty amazing. I mean, they do that in the V-Box, but this always fascinates me when it's out here in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> yeah, so we just get rid of the rest of this honey story up here, which is a bit of a problem. <laughs> We're making an awful mess. All the field bees are coming back, as you can see, and they're wondering, what the hell happened to our house? We had a house here a minute ago. Oh my God. It's been a mark foon <laughs> instead of a typhoon. <laughs> So we've just had ourselves a little drinks break, waited for the girls to re regroup a bit and we're just going to suck a few more off the wall and then we'll check out how many we got in this container. How cool is that? Well I reckon that's been a fairly successful little like, sucking out or a sucking out sucking expedition. <laughs> now for the grand reveal. <laughs> Let's have a look. Hopefully we've done alright. Have a look at that lot. We've got a little few escapees but we've done pretty good. I think I might just shut that for a second. I'd just like to say, this is a much better sequel than Ghostbusters 2. I think we've sucked this shit right up. <laughs>